So today I figured I'd make a video about kind of secrets to facing your fear. Uh, when you get an injury, like I'm coming off this ankle injury, you would think the last thing I would get back is flicking my front ankle. But actually the last thing that you get back is the confidence to commit to stuff and that almost overconfidence that helps you skate stuff that you're scared of. Because skateboarding is very much so about being overly confident. More confident than you probably need to be. And so you can actually build a mental muscle memory on how to fight that fear. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some ways that I do it since I'm starting to like get back into skating. My ankle's about 85, 90%. I can start jumping down stuff a little bit. I've already started, I did that little kick with body rail down that set of stairs in the skate park. That was stuff sick, like that. by the way. Thank you. I, I was so excited because I was like, oh, I'm scared of this and I'm making myself try. Yeah, exactly. Um, so a trick that I am so scared of is fakey heel flips down stuff. It just has such a high ratio for going up my butt. And <laughs> which, yeah, I might as well call them fakey uh, Haley flips. <laughs> so it's just always trying to get in there. Oh my God. Uh, so for <laughs> me, I've had bad experiences with fakey heel flips where I've gotten it up my butt probably yeah. four different times like i've tried to do it down like three stairs and four oh, stairs when okay. i was younger and i just always get hurt doing it so yeah. today uh, i'm going to show you a little trick to how to overcoming that fear now the point of this day isn't for me to overcome the fakey heel flip and that be the end goal the point is for me to overcome a trick that is potentially less dangerous but will help build my men my mental muscle memory to try something actually more dangerous so when i go to skate a handrail uh, I'll be just as confident because the fear that you face when you're trying a ledge trick that you're really scared of, that emotion is honestly the same fear that you face when you're skating a handrail for the first time. It's the same fear that you face when you're jumping to the biggest set of stairs that you've ever jumped. Uh, so you basically are teaching yourself to say, fuck it. Like it's, it's teaching yourself to say fuck it over and over and over again because there's a point in time right before you get to the obstacle that you're scared of, there's a threshold point that you yeah, pass. Yeah, 100%. And once you pass that threshold point, you're gonna try it. So with flip tricks, I always say, if you're trying to flip trick down a set of stairs, you pretty much know whether you're gonna actually try it before you even run and drop your board. With the handrail, you know whether you're gonna try it. There's a point of no return about six feet in front of the rail where you're going yeah. so fast <laughs> that you can't bail. No. And so you have, that's your threshold point for that. Flat ground tricks, that's another one where you pretty much know whether you're gonna commit before you even try the trick. Now I'm making a separate video on how to learn every flip trick and i'm going to break down all the like subtle pressure points and secrets to just doing different stuff on your board. industry secrets exactly how to commit to stuff in flat ground but today is all about fear i was really trying to get this fakey heel flip done before zach dolan showed up because i knew that that probably be his warm-up trick <laughs> but uh he's rolling in right now yeah um so yeah here's how i will start to go about trying to fakey heel flip down something i'm scared of now maybe you're you need to like help like committing to an ollie down a five stair. It doesn't really matter the size of it is. It, it just matters what it is to you. And for me, What's up, G? jumping down a five stair isn't that big of a scary thing for me to do. Just but this trick. trick is very scary for me. Yeah. Um, so maybe for you, it's practicing your trick off a curb or whatever. But I will start off by picking a crack in the ground and doing the flip trick over the crack a couple times just to make sure that I'm comfortable with it. So uh, let's okay. we'll do that crack right there. Let's see. Like right there, I already know like we're in trouble. But <laughs> we're just gonna beat feed it into my brain that I can do it. Track attempt number two. Not too gross. There okay. it is. Try going back this way. That's another thing. Uh, doing the same trick in different directions honestly helps because you get comfortable going in one direction trying your trick. So I try to do the flip trick going both ways. Oh my god. So if I land two more in a row, then I'll try it off the ones there. Keep in mind, like, none of these figgy heels are flipping the way that I want them to flip. But You're I'm, just figuring it out. Yeah, I'm just building that confidence. Yeah. Oh! So for me, I'm not going to make myself start over from the top because that's overdoing it. But I do want to end on a high note. Yeah. So I'll say to myself, okay, two more in a row. Yeah. I don't care how bad that was. <laughs> just building confidence. There you go. So now I'll try it off the ones there. 
The reason I do it off the crack is because getting the timing to pop before something is the same thing that you use to go off of something. And if you don't have the timing right, you can miss pop. That's yeah. a great way to get the board up the butt. <laughs> I think we've all been there. Yeah, if you haven't had a board up your butt. You're not skating enough. That's right. My girlfriend got a board up the butt right here and went viral for it. <laughs> Just do a full cap, got it, got it up there. All right, I'm gonna keep it rolling. That Dude, was first tee. Okay. So like, I felt pretty cozy on that one, surprisingly. Yeah, so you look real comfortable. Scared. But right when I got to the end, I was like, this is fine. Yeah, you got. Okay, do this one more time. Okay. Then we'll do the three. Sick. Dude, all day. So yeah, I'm not trying to like gross these fakey heels. I'm trying to like kind of just play with it in a sense to where I feel comfortable. If I need to bail, I can bail. Um, man, I'm really surprised I landed that. That was sick. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Fakey, fakey, fakey. Okay. This way. I should be down here. You're regular. Not bad. That wasn't a bad um it was so mob but i committed to it and that's yeah like, you still held on that's everything and like honestly i feel like if i didn't if i would have came straight here i would have probably bailed the first like five yeah yeah Ooh. that was pretty crappy but okay so solid I'll do one more yeah, I'm terrified of taking heel flips down stuff. I always sack on my board. No sacking today. I mean, I don't want to sack. <laughs> oh. So I tried to go faster on that one, and I just miss pops. See how they want to mob, though? They want to mob so bad and go on my butt. Kick more down. That's what I got to do. Another thing that I do. And this might sound like terrible advice. I see people when they're learning flip tricks down stuff and they'll like try one and one won't work and then they'll practice a bunch of flat ground. Yeah. Don't do that. Why? Because when you try it on flat ground, if all of a sudden the flip trick doesn't flip right on flat ground, your confidence goes out the window uh, okay. because you have this almost like unrealistic expectation of roasting a really good one on flat ground. If you do yeah. a crappy one or fall off, you're going to be like, I can't do it on flat ground, so I can't do it down the stairs. Ignorance is really bliss when it comes to like trying tricks you're scared of. Oh, man. So that's why you start off on something, you never go back to flat ground. You do it on a one stair, yeah. you never go back to the one stair. You do it on the three stair, and then you, you okay. work your way up to what you want because you'll get in your own head. I do it all the time. Yeah. You think it's like uh, as you go on, you can kind of figure out what you're doing wrong and you can fine tune what you need to do. Like you said, you need to flick harder. So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, that's well. like what's good about like practicing on flat ground is like you start to figure out your own trick. Like right now, I really want to do a figgy heel on flat ground. I'm not going to. I'm just yeah. down the street. You got right here. How are you today, sir? I'm just trying to stretch right now, but I just want to watch, so. Yeah. I'm just going to stretch a little bit. Bit of stretching. I got here early so I could stretch before anyone came. <laughs> that one felt okay. So I have to do one more because I need two in a row. So what's the plan here? You're going to the three and then you're going to take it to the five? To the long three, then the five. Uh, gotcha. That's a, such a scary trick. Yeah, it's a crazy scary trick. Ah, how you feeling? The, the first one felt okay, so now we're gonna go to the long three. Right. So this one is also a three stair, but since it's longer, it's more realistic to how fast I need to go to clear the five. So Let's I'll have a look at it. If I do this two times in a row, I'll try. I'm like scared. I'm thinking about the five You're now. Good. Okay, do long three. Ooh. Ooh. There's that fear creeping up, so I gotta like. You gotta fight it. Dude, what I what I like to do is like you were saying, he just hit his first hand roll yesterday, and how your mind goes blank. Yeah, you blank, you go blank. Then. In like, try to get used to getting that blank feeling on smaller stuff that's safer, that's scary for you, and then forcefully impose that same mindset when you're really scared. I think we've all been there where we're like trying a trick, and we're just like, okay, I got it, and then you get up to the the run up point, you turn around, and then it's yeah. gone. Yeah. You can get good at forcing it back in. You can like practice to be like. Okay, I'm not feeling right now, but I'm going for it. I'm yeah. committing. Then 
but sometimes it helps as awful as this might sound to commit to this land just be like yeah let's just get because that off. gets that fear out of the way you're like yeah. that wasn't that bad now i can try again yeah and if you get broke off you get broke you're gonna get if you're bound to get hurt on a trick you're gonna get hurt on it whether you're regardless scared or not scared yeah doesn't matter so you might as well just go for it bailing is just as dangerous as committing that's a good way to look at it if i bail this one i'm gonna be so mad <laughs> Yeah, you got okay. it. See, that was a full commit. I went for it. I popped it terrible, but I went for it. All right. This video is going to be called How to Do Really Crappy Looking Fakie Heels. <laughs> but I, I don't care about how it looks. I'm just trying to like build up that mu muscle, mental muscle memory. So when I go do something that I actually really want to do that I'm scared of, it's going to be easier for me to try it. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking damn. See, so, let, let stuff get in my head. <laughs> Next try. Skateboarding is such a mental it is. battle. You gotta, like, Force it into submission. Yeah. Oh, my foot wasn't set up. I should probably start. Ah, now do it. Oh, this yes. miss pop. It's it's so funny. Like when you're scared of something, all these excuses start coming up in your head. Like yeah. oh, the wind. So there's people Every there. Every little the skate madness starts those, creeping on. Those excuses are nowhere to be found when you're like doing 50 50s on a ledge. Yeah. Why don't you have the same excuses then? And it's literally not because the excuses are real but because your fear is overcoming or overriding yeah. your confidence. There you go. Such a bad deal, but I won't take anything. Don't you dare chip. Oh. I know you want to chip. I just really like this sketch. There you go. I like, I like landed that like it was a three block. Yeah, but like, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> Remember that clip of Justin Bieber landing that kickflip off the curb? And he landed, and then he like landed, and then went down again like that. So sick. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Ugh. Okay. So like, man, I like really scared to try the five now. You're good. You said good. You're good. That's Take true. your time. Yeah. I haven't done a fakey heel that I was like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'll make this one be it though. They all add up, you know. Each one you try adds up. That was a really nice one. Okay, so I gotta do one more in a row. And then, yeah. So now I'm to Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Okay. That one I found a little bit more in control. That was a really nice one. It was solid, but the flip was gross. <laughs> the thing you do is always gross. <laughs> scared of splits Ugh. okay so i can deal with myself i'll land one decent one i don't need to do two in a row and then up force to the myself five. to try the five yeah Woo. Oh, that man. flipped really nice and it leveled out too yeah this shoe is killing me man so i just sliding around okay hear that excuse <laughs> Woo. Yeah. See how much more consistent it was down the other three. Mm. The trick hasn't changed. It's no. just my mindset has. Yeah. So like being aware of that, I know I can just keep chipping away at it and it'll start to click. Yeah. Skateboarding mindfulness. Oh. Wait, how? That was such a fall. Oh <laughs> god. That was a solid thud. Ugh. Oh. So me and Dale had this thing that we play. It's called the game the game it's the game and so when something's distracting you like if people are in the way or something like that you make it force you to commit harder like stuff that would normally bother you you're like no, yeah. no no that's gonna motivate me that's like when the security guard come the other day at that exactly I was like i gotta go now because yeah. there's no more time you sort of like use reverse psychology like if like i'm skating a park and it's crazy crowded and i want to try something and someone keeps getting my way i'm like during my way i'll land at that try yeah just like trick yourself into committing push yourself what Ooh. the frick okay it's looking rough right now I thought this was gonna be a little bit easier. Do you think it pays to like take like a minute break and just like catch your breath, catch on to your thinking and like if that work that works for some people, it doesn't work for me. Okay. I have to like go while the getting's good. Yeah, I feel you. That's that's me letting myself get distracted. Oh, I don't wanna be here right now. You got I don't wanna be in this mind space. <clears throat> Alright, here. But that was the point. The point was for me to get here. Yeah. Get over it. Crossing over John Edwards. There it is. That was really bad. Yeah, but do one more. it's the land, you know? Yeah, sure, one more. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. What else you try the five? Okay. Fact, I said I didn't need to do two in a row. All right. I gotta be a man of my word. So even though I haven't landed a decent one down to three, might as well just go for it, right? We're stepping up. Give me 20 bucks to do a first try. 20 bucks for first try? So, there you go. And you can like edit it to just where it looks like it's first try. <laughs> and I'll just like pretend to give you 20 bucks. Like, how about I really do it first try and then you give me 20 bucks? Yeah. Okay. But like, again, you know. So I'll call them that exactly. Keep it rolling so they know that he goes for 20 bucks. Yeah. It is one long clip. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right here. Just go for it, right? You got You got So oh. another rule, I only let myself take two run-ups. Any more than that, I'll get stuck in run-up world. Okay. So I'll just do like a hundred run-ups. Yeah. I was there yesterday. Just... Never nothing, but if you don't land it, then you won't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Oh my god, that was almost first Damn time. it! Hey, I committed. You I got committed. you committed. All this shit that motivates them and all these excuses, it's money. That's the yeah. secret. They know that, they watch my YouTube channel. Money is money. 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 <laughs> you think skating's fun? <laughs> no. It pays the bills, baby. You got electricity you want in my van. <laughs> Alright, here I These are solid, man. Like you're like landing bolts. These ones I'm doing better than the fucking yeah. three stairs. Do you think it's because you have more air time? No, I this? think it's because I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Like, let's I'm keep like, it going. Like this is the one that I want to do it on. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm doing something I'm stoked about. Yeah. So now the fear is kind of like, like kind of like a little high. Like I'm getting a little okay. bit of dopamine every time I try. Yeah. Sick. Did you say he was high? <laughs> high on life. Huh. <laughs> what do you do over here? What do you do? You did touch something over here. What do you do? Escape madness. Okay, I want to do it right now. What, what do you got? do? Here, Biggie Hill down this seems crazy, so huh? Crazy. Going for it, so that's good. Yeah. Um, if I landed this right, you have to kiss me on the lips. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no way. Go. Oh, that's like, it, it's just the COVID thing. Like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah, like, you know. All right, Zach, if I do it this try, you have to try Big Heel. First try, you just gotta go for it. Okay. Because I know that he can take a heel flip. He's gonna act like he can't. But my ankle hurts. Yeah, he's still coming back from an ankle injury. I am too! Okay, okay. You do it right here, I'll try it. Okay. 100%. <laughs> oh! I didn't even flick it right and I was like, gotta land it! Uh, <laughs> he's still stuck through. Right, yeah. like, I haven't jumped on anything in over 10 days. I just put in brand new bushings just now. And I haven't skated yet. I've literally uh, never jumped on anything in my entire life. This is what would happen, not to scare you. <laughs> okay, tell me all uh, the bad things that could happen. That's what I'm scared of! Credit card. That's the whole point of this video! Not to scare you, but I would turn into a popsicle. <laughs> oh god, two popsicles now. Oh. <laughs> See, like, seeing that skate on that bank, it's in my head, but I just gotta... Dale's FaceTiming you. Okay. Dale just FaceTimed me. I just roasted fucking 16 in a row. <laughs> but Dale's FaceTime like distracted. He gave me $100 and we made out. But Dale was like FaceTime. It was just really. So I'll do one more just to like show you that I got it. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yes! Oh! You can definitely edit that. Cut! <laughs> no, all right. I mean, I went for it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, you got it all day, man. Oh. <laughs> That's the other thing is like, even if I'm going to land it, but even if I wasn't going to land it, my mission is accomplished because I've committed to tricks that I'm yeah. scared of. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm already like, still feeling the same fear every time I try this, but I've already have it kind of like locked in like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, yeah. fuck it. 
That's helping a lot. Oh, I was just about to do it. He was about to do it. We thanked him. No, it's gonna help give you more speed. Dude, it's right there. It's just this shitty ass ground. No, I, I just landed like an idiot. The ground didn't stop me, honestly. I like squatted and I was like, oh, I'm on the board, but I'm too squatted. Yeah. It's only a five stair. What am I doing? <laughs> this is like a trick that like skaters respect. Fake a heel? I agree. I've always had a lot of respect for Like, there's so much that can go wrong. Yeah. And it's impossible to make it look good. It's yeah, it's, it's tough. Like, you're going to have to have to have to have to have to have So I'm annoyed that I took a run up, but the reason I took a run up, I honestly was just thinking in my head that John Hill did this. John Hill did the straight eight down an eight stair, which means he figured he healed an eight stair. He did. For like one of his first YouTube videos, he's like, I'm gonna do the straight eight down eight stairs. And then I think like the figgy heel was like third try or something. I think the one that he struggled with was something random. I think it was like switch flip, like a trick that he does. He's oh. really good at like fakey stuff. He's good at like all four stances. His defense, that eight stair is like smaller than this. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like the smallest, most perfect eight stair ever. What, what you just said is in his defense. It's in my offense. Oh, it's in the, uh, it's in the dude. Fuck you, John Hill. This thing's fucking twice as big as that eight stair, dude. <laughs> this is a five block, dude, right here. Oh, God. You better be feeling this shot if you're gonna make a little. <laughs> oh, that was scary, dude. John Hill could never fake he heel flip this set. Never could do it. If he came here, dude, he would be so scared. <laughs> fake heel down this five there. Mm. I'm pretty sure he's fake heel to double set. Probably. Like, I think that's a trick that he can just do. Oh, yeah, he's got those. Yeah, every stance, man. You ever see that video where he does like a thousand foot tricks in a row and they're all different? Oh, my God. I, I honestly think he did. Dude, I want to say it was like 51 foot tricks that were all different in a row. One of his earlier YouTube videos, when his YouTubes were like skate, 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 he was yeah. doing like the most fucked up challenges. Oh. Oh. That one wanted to go on my butt. <laughs> my challenge would be the straight eight down this in one go. So the straight eight I could do minus the fakey heel, I think. The other ones I think, well, nollie heel I might have a little bit of trouble so with you too. you think you could do, what could you call it, the seven? Like, yeah, the, the safe seven. <laughs> do those in a row down there. If I land fakey, dude, that'd be so hard. I don't even want to play with it. Yeah, I don't even want to put this clip in the video because I don't want to have it in people's minds that I could try this trick and I'm not even going to try it. And ask for the safe seven. Sure. Safe seven. Safe seven? But we need to go to like a safe seven, like a nice small. Yeah. You know, I, don't well, think I know it, a really good seven I don't stairs. think they build seven stairs at skate parks. I'm surprised there's a five. Stairs. I honestly think that seven is such a good size. Seven is cool. Eight, right, nine gets a bit gnarly. It's cool. Four is cool. I like three. Yeah, really <laughs> three cool. stairs. I should have done it. Oh. I got scared. See, that one I actually bailed. All right, this drive. I got to get back in my head space. All right, drive. Oh, Ooh. see that ninja reflex? You were able to kick the board away. My butthole clinched up so tight it would have literally, like, chopped the hot dog in half. <laughs> it was like, it was like, honestly, mine too. <laughs> All right, here. You know, if two buttholes pucker at the same time, they kind of kiss. My trucks feel kind of. See, I'm getting in my head, and I gotta just not do that. No matter what, yeah. I'm gonna get out of my head. It's so hard to get out of your head. It's like impossible to get out of your head because, like, you live there. Yeah. Oh, as long as I'm committing, I'm like satisfied. Oh. And, like, it's it looks like, so promising. Is, like me. Facing my fear, it's not pretty. And it's very similar to probably what you're gonna go through. Like, if I just came up here and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try a trick that I'm scared of, and I wasn't having these like mental things, and I, I was just like going for it right away, it probably wouldn't have helped you at all. I think it would honestly help to watch someone else go through that mental struggle, know that you're going into that anyways, and then forcing yourself to go through it just as I'm trying to force myself to go yeah. through it. Just like being like, honestly, like, the technique is really just called fuck it. Watching you slam on this makes me not ever want to fake you. <laughs> so I don't know if it's helping. <laughs> oh. I, I think that's because Zach doesn't know what it feel like feels like to not land something. Yeah, he's always <laughs> landing everything. He's like, he's like, why aren't you not riding away? <laughs> like, I, really I see you trying a trick, but then it doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't get why he hasn't landed every single one. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. See the ground, man. It's like a ground grip. Ground. Okay, Grippy. so the reason I didn't fall because of the ground is because I landed like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if I would have the ground almost helped me because I was like falling and the ground was like, so give me a second it? to stand up. But okay. I was still just like, no! <laughs> Yes. Okay, so it's a make. Know, it was that sketchy, but like I already planned this out. It has to be true to be true. True That's to be true. Part. You're a two-time type of guy. It's sketchy, but that isn't the reason I'm doing it again. Gotta do it twice. <laughs> as soon as I land it once, I'm like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I would have taken that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, I was stoked I stuck it though, because that one flipped super wrong, and I was like, commitment. Held again, you held on. Oh, that one wanted to go up my butt so bad. Okay, now I'm scared again. Okay, no, 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 I got it. I you got, got it. it. I got it. I don't know if, like, anyone watching realizes, like, how close he just was to, yeah. like, game over. Yeah. Uh, he knows, I that know. That would have been the end of the session. Cool. That would have been the beginning of a whole different video. <laughs> Land. It's a Baker Land. I got another one. It was better than the first one, but I can't. I, like, Somebody's got I'm hands, almost glad you know? I didn't crash again because it's making me. Imagine if you didn't again. have hands right now. Oh, remember yesterday on that ledge at um, Diamond Park, you slid out. Why are you talking about <laughs> that right now? Oh, I almost like knocked my teeth out trying to train. Oh, God. Like the it was that ledge. It was that manual pad the ledge. The key waxed up too much. Yeah. That was no, his fault. No, no, it wasn't no. on that? Yeah, it was. I was doing back tail and I was going to shove it out, but I was leaning the wrong way, so when I went to jump off, I landed it back on the tail. Yeah. And it was like, I was, but I was squatted here and it went like, pow. I must have missed that. Kapow. All right, right. You got, you now got. We're talking about the Sorry, like that's that. one thing you shouldn't do is talk about bales or anything like that when someone's trying something. So. Ooh, I still committed it, didn't even. Yeah. Fly, right? You know why I like this? I can't see your ankles. <laughs> when you're landing. Why are you talking just, about my ankles? I'm just, I'm just saying like, I can I can see you roll away, but that's it. I just mean, I can't see you like go primo or like, oh my God. Uh, you're saying all the wrong saying things Saying all the wrong right things right now. Right now okay, guys. whatever, I got it. You got it. This is just more endurance than This is like a mental endurance point. You guys are jumping through the rigor right now. Okay, stop thinking about my ankles, hold on. You got it. Thinking about rolling away. Does that, do you reckon that helps? Is like thinking about just like rolling away from the trick? I have to go blank. Yeah, I, see I, that's... I literally just like, yeah. go for it. Just whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Because have you ever landed a trick, Zach, and you don't remember landing it, but you just remember rolling away? Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like on a new thing. Like... On a new thing, for sure. Yeah. Right. When you're like surprised. Oh. That was actually the ground that time. See? Night. That time I'll give it to you as well. They should put some uh, surf leveling concrete over this here. Oh! Honestly, by far the hardest part of this is having that conversation about my ankles and like different injuries and talking about me going back my teeth out yesterday and like yeah. trying to like like ball it up and like use this motivation. motivation like, yeah. I should be so scared right now, but like yeah. no, I just gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna push through. Positive note, wax your wheel was. That, that's a little secret for the kids. Yeah. If you want to avoid wheel bite, bit of wax in your wheel wells. Skaters have this in their pocket at all times. <laughs> yeah. Ready to go. Yes. Yes. That one felt solid. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to regret this. What? I'm trying one more. Oh, I don't care if I he, land He always it. does this. I don't care if I land when it. When he gets it like more. solid, he's like, i got to do it again. Just delete the clip. <laughs> that way he has to do it again. You want to do it again? Okay, let me delete the clip. Good enough. I just want to make myself try it again. Okay. Ah, uh, dude, yeah, thanks for filming, man. No, so that's like the entire struggle of yeah. forcing yourself to do something. And like, I already know, like, I could feel it. Like, when I'm doing something that I'm scared of, I'm almost like trying to mentally record it, like, this is that feeling. Mm. 
this is how I push through it. Yeah. And when I go to, you know, a ledge trick that I'm scared of or anything else that I'm scared of, I can like pull up this like little document and be like, yeah. here's how I got through it. It's the same thing. The danger doesn't matter. Like when you're really scared of something, in all honesty, the only time that danger really gets overwhelming any more than trying anything that you're scared on is when heights are involved. Yeah. Like you're like grinding the edge of a building. That's a whole oh different fear. God. That's like yeah. you're scared of death. Yes. Yeah. But like the same fear that I'm gonna face when I figgy heel with this five stair is the same fear I'm gonna face when I try like back when you know this grind on yeah. a handrail that I haven't done in a while or something like that. So yeah, honestly. Feel pretty good about that. That's good, man. Solid. I've wanted I wanted the figgy heel flip this set since like I started coming here. Today was the day. There's a 12 stair down the street. You wanna go try that? Honestly, duh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Figgy heel 12. Sit. No, okay. So, yeah. So, um, if you have any more questions about this, I feel like there's obviously stuff I could have missed out on, or if there's a particular trick that you're working on that I might have a tip for yeah. overcoming, comment a bit. He's comment. so good at breaking down tricks, like the trick to the trick. Honestly, he's like a skateboard theorist. thank you thank you i appreciate it i like the trick to the trick <laughs> yeah that's maybe i'll start uh, titling that's my a, video that's, like, that's how you figure it out yeah ha haley's uh, trick tip tutorials are called how to do this trick if you suck and i'm like <laughs> i'm like that's pretty good except for haley you're really good at skating yeah, so <laughs>